Right before I drive away to forget Why do I give a damn at everything we say G'day guys, Chaos Chronicles, well it's your boy Biff and we're back with another video. So I'm going to answer a question that was asked to me today, but it's been asked a fair few times so I thought I might address it. I thought it was common sense, but maybe some people just don't know. So we will get into it. All right, so that question was, is it okay for me to snitch on somebody if they have snitched on me first so you know counter snitching whatever you want to call it um it is absolutely 100 million percent not legal i mean in the criminal world it's a breach if you snitch on somebody it does not matter if they have snitched on you first um, it, it, will, it will still be deemed as being an absolute 100% snitch. And there's no two ways about it. Now, the criminal world is crazy. So, like, it's a very, very small world. And people that are doing a long time and whatnot, they like to keep their environment, what they're in, like, staunch. You know what I mean? And what I mean by that is they... If you are new, like say, for instance, if you are new in that prison and nobody knows you, um, the chances of you getting paperwork checked is is pretty pretty real. And will somebody find that snitch in your paperwork? 100%. And you will get taken out that instant, like absolutely taken out. Um, so don't, don't fall victim to this. Like... It is never okay to snitch on anybody. Like, this is the criminal world. Like, it is never okay to snitch on anybody for any reason. Now, there are some there are some, some things that would make you through the breaks if you snitched, you know? So, say, for instance, if, um, if one of your children was, was sexually abused or something like that, and you and you um, gave a statement to um, you know help your son. Um, what I've found in my time is like, all right. So if that was me, I absolutely wouldn't do that. I would organise and sort it out in my own way, and that person would get taken out by me, not the police. And that that's exactly what would happen. But I have seen it be legalised for like rapes and you know, pedophilia and things like that. Um, but, you know, a lot of people still will not go down that road um, of snitching or lagging, being a rat, being a dog, if they don't have to. And um, they are absolutely not, like a lot of the old school crooks would just not, not snitch at all. And um, although it, it is deemed to be okay to snitch in those situations, like, you know, <clears throat> say your wife was sexually abused or, you know, your children or something like that, that's when it's legal. Um, but other than that, you know, they can be pretty rough and they will knock you. If you think that you're going to be a snitch and you're going to make it through the breaks and you're going to have someone that says, Oh, yeah, he just snitched for this reason. That's all right. We're going to let him stay in the yard. Fuck no. That ain't going to happen. If one person finds out you're a snitch in prison, everybody in prison is going to know that you're a, sti a snitch. And your time on that prison planet is going to be very, very short-lived because there's going to be people that are trying to make a name for themselves to put their hand up to take you out. There is never going to be a shortage of people that want to take you out for snitching. Now, like I said before, I absolutely don't agree with snitching um, on any level. Um, now, yeah, like I said before, if one of my family members was sexually abused or, or whatnot, or, or even, um, you know, I've heard of people snitching, you know, when their partners or their family was um, murdered, unalived. Um, and, yeah, that's deemed to be legal snitching. But, you know, it's a fine line 
and and there's going to be a vast majority of people that do not appreciate you snitching on any type of level and like i said it's because prison is this environment where like i'll use me as an example so say for instance if i was in a unit and i didn't know you and somebody told me that you had just snitched on a b and c i'm coming to get you and that's there's no two ways about it and why that is because i do not want to live around somebody 24 hours a day that i do not trust that i cannot put one bit of trust in and i will never trust anybody um that there is a snitch allegation on it's going to take a lot of work to get my trust back and 99.9 percent of blokes on that yard are going to be exactly the same it's a very unapologetic brutal world where um you know it's the jungle only the tough survive you've got to be the lion in the jungle and sometimes um taking out your prey is what the lion has to do and um now people people would say you know why would you get involved with it if it doesn't you know if it's got nothing to do with you well it's got everything to do with me you're a criminal you're in my prison and you are a snitch I am going to take you out because I don't want you snitching on my mates. I don't want you snitching on me. I don't want you snitching on all the little rorts that we've got going on. I don't want you snitching on nothing. So I will take you out. And if it's a bad snitch, I am going to take out old shanky shanky poos and, and, and give you a shank sandwich in the neck. And that's, that's as real as it is. And, and you know, the vast majority of people in prison are going to be like that. So the answer to that question is, you know, is it legal to snitch on somebody if they have snitched on you? That's a fuck no. It is never legal to snitch on somebody. Now, like I said, there are a few little things there that might get you through the breaks, but there are still going to be people that say, I don't want this mofo in my yard if he is a snitch. I don't care if he snitched on a rapist. I don't care who he snitched on. That mofo is not roaming around the yard with me. And, you know, most of the people in prison are going to think like that. So um, there you go. There's the answer to that question. All right, guys. Mate, if you don't look, crime, jail, drugs, it's a fake fake life and it's a bullshit life that's always gonna end you up on the wrong side of the law no pun intended and um yeah you do not want to do this shit like i've said you know drugs crime and are only going to end you up in prison and i say this a lot and it's because i mean it if you're doing drugs and crime and crime and drugs and drugs and crime every single day and you ain't getting pinched by the coppers there is a very, very good chance that you, sir or miss, are a snitch. And even if you are not, people are going to think that anyway because it is sus for somebody to be a drug dealer for 20 years, 10 years, 5 years and not get caught. It just rarely, rarely happens. Yeah, there is some people out there that have been drug dealing for 20 years that are absolutely 100% professional that do not get caught by the cops. But in the start, they are going to go through arrest after arrest after arrest to find what suits them without being arrested, you know? So, and it's not just me that thinks you're a snitch if you don't get arrested, it's everybody in the prison. So, you know, don't do drugs and crime and you won't end up in prison and, um, you know, you won't end up with a shanky, shanky sandwich in the neck. All right, guys, I've been the Chaos Chronicles. We out. And as always, guys, don't forget to chuck a comment on there, guys. Um, as you guys know, I will try and answer your question with a comment. Obviously, I can't answer them all with a comment, but I will try. Don't forget to chuck a subscribe. Smash that bell. That way you never miss any of my awesome videos. All right, guys. Right before I drive away to forget. Why do I give a damn at everything we say? Oh.